Good morning and Om Shanti to you, all of you. Welcome back to your own channel. Today is your 185th day of your quarterly blessing. Before we go ahead with this quarterly blessing, have a look at the link above, which takes you directly towards flexibility, yoga, and diet, and the method to sleep well. Have a look at that, and then let's go ahead. What does Baba have to say? Baba talks about purity in today's blessing. Purity also means brahmacharya. Brahmacharya also means following the footsteps of Adam, whom God had created in His own light. Purity. So God is light. God is light of knowledge, purity, peace, love, happiness, bliss, and power. These seven qualities, just like the colors of the rainbow, are the qualities of God. And if you mix all the seven colors, it becomes white light. That's why God is white light energy. And we souls are also white light, but we have become darker. Why? Because of lack of knowledge of the self, lack of knowledge of love, peace, purity, happiness, bliss. So today, Baba is talking, or God the Father is touching. And talking about purity, which is very, very crucial. What does it mean? Let's have an understanding. Baba says, "May you be a soul who has a right to number one." So God is pure, ocean of purity. If we imbibe purity, we become close to God. We go up, number one, by experiencing peace. And happiness on the basis of purity. If there's no purity, there is no peace, no happiness, even amongst relationships, at your home, workplace, or any place else. Let's get into the details. Baba says the children who constantly keep their promise of purity. Purity means brahmacharya. That means we love each other on a soul conscious basis, not on a body conscious basis. We look at each other's each soul's good qualities. We look at only the diamonds and the pearls in each other, not the wealth. But the diamonds and the pearls of qualities in each other, and not the physical beauty, but the inner beauty, and that's how peace and purity remains. So the children who constantly keep the promise of purity in their awareness automatically experience happiness and peace. So if you want your house to be peaceful, then start looking at each other's goodness, qualities, gems, pearls, diamonds, which God has given them. Everybody has been given some qualities, but if we do the opposite, then the peace is gone. To be number one is in claiming a right to purity means what does it mean to be number one means to be number one in all attainments once you have purity then automatically peace love happiness bliss power knowledge everything automatically comes so foundation is purity of brahmacharya now therefore never allow the foundation of purity to become weak for only then will you be able to be last so fast so many people say we have joined brahma kumaris very late it's been Almost 80 plus years, Brahma Kumaris has been there, but we are 60 years old, 50 years old, 40 years old, and we never came across it. And right now, at this stage in life, we have come across spirituality. God says it's never too late. If you imbibe purity, that means Brahmacharya is that if, if husband and wife are staying together, they stay in purity. Not just that, purity also means that we look at each other's qualities, we look at each other's goodness instead of commenting, taunting, and putting things or putting people down. We generally, when we have desires in our life, when we want something from each other and that desire doesn't get fulfilled, we start putting other person down, we start pointing out, we start complaining or blaming and that complaining and blaming, we generally have to look at the weakness or the darkness in another person and pinpoint that thing. And when we do that, purity is gone and that's where peacelessness comes in the house or the family or the business or the workplace. Think about it. Are we looking at each other's? darkness or we are looking at light in each other so that is also purity that is also brahmacharya so brahmacharya is not just that you abstain from lust or sexual activities brahmacharya means following adam following the way god has made adam that is purity and looking at the pure side of each other not the dark side of each other so therefore never allow the foundation of purity to become weak for only then will you be able to last go last to fast Remain constantly stable in this religion. So God says, what is a religion? Religion, some people say, I will never leave Christianity. I was born a Christian. I was born a Muslim. I was born a Hindu. I was born a Sikh. God says, those are the religions of the body. But the real religion of you as a soul is purity, love, peace, happiness, bliss, joy, power, and knowledge. These are the seven colors of the rainbows. And if you mix all these seven colors, it becomes white. That's why God is light, white light. And we souls are also white light. We are also point of white light. God is also point of white light. That's why he's known as our father, creator. What does he create? He doesn't create us as physical children. He doesn't have a 
wife to create us as physical children through DNA, but he's a father who gives us qualities and values. That's why he's a giver. Like we say, father of philosophy, father of science, because they gave something to science and we are benefiting out of it. Father of philosophy. So he gave, that person gave something or wrote something about philosophy, which opened our eyes. So similarly, God the Father is a father of virtues and values. He gives us those virtues and values. That's why he's a father. He's not a physical father who gives us birth through a womb or through a mother's womb. So Papa says, no matter what happens, no matter how much people, nature or situations try to shake you, people will shake us. People will say bad things to us. They might look at the dark side in us and we might reply back, revert back or we might get agitated. That's what Baba says, don't do because that's losing your own purity. Even if other people are doing it, situations are doing it. Let's say Baba says nature. Nature means this is a five elemental body. This is also nature. If somebody's nature attracts you, you forget to see the beauty of the soul, you start looking at the outer physical beauty and that's also impurity because you're disconnected from the soul, you're only connected to their flesh or the five elemental body. So that is also nature. So that is also distracting you. So you're leaving your purity. Causes don't do that. People, nature or situations try to shake you. Do not let go of your religion even if you have to leave your body. That's what God wants us to do. Like to stick to the religion which is our God Father's religion which is knowledge, purity, peace, love, happiness, bliss, power and all these qualities are what keep us intact in our religion. Opposite of them which are vices, make us sinful people. Even if we are going to a, a church or a mandir or a masjid, but if you have the opposite of these virtues, we are not religious at all. That's God's definition of a religion. So I'll leave you with this beautiful blessing. Have a blessed day. Think about this, about purity. And may you bring about purity in your family, in your family life, and even your workplace, in your business, and have it as a peaceful atmosphere. So have a blessed day. Stay safe, stay home. Om Shanti. Thank you.